Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to do my unfortunate last video of my Ipsy review video subscription box service for Ipsy. That was a tongue twister. I don't know why I make it so much more words than they really are. So I have had Ipsy now for a little over three years now. This is not a video to say that, oh my god, Ipsy's terrible or blah blah blah. I love Ipsy. Ipsy has always been my favorite and all-time favorite uh, beauty subscription service. Um, where you pay $10 a month, uh, super affordable. So this is going to be my last video for Ipsy. And typically the reason, I mean, $10 a month is pretty affordable, but um, to be quite honest with you, after a while just doing the math, it's, it's a lot of money. It adds up. And I really need to focus on um, bills and, you know, other expenses. And I could be saving a lot of money. So I feel down the line, down the road, I probably will resubscribe, but for right now, I needed to just uh, cancel my subscription, and I really do feel bad for canceling it because, like I said, it is one of my favorite subscription services um, that are out there. So, and again, this is not to say that Ipsy's terrible. I mean, the bags are super cute. I have collected so many over the years, kept a lot for myself have used quite the number of them um, in other ways and have uh, given them out to friends and family. So, and the products too are absolutely amazing. Um, there are so many brands that I have discovered over the years and so many products that I have used um, in the past. But like I said, there are just other expenses that I need to focus on, bills and all that type of stuff. So yeah, this is going to be my last one for December of 2015. And who knows, maybe I might discover maybe another bag or resubscribe to Ipsy down the road. So let's get into the December 2015, my last subscription for Ipsy. So I really love the card that they uh, gave this time around. It says, Thank you for an amazing 2015. Uh, you know how much you're loved and with love from Ipsy and it's like little characters of all the girls who are um, affiliated with Ipsy. So uh, that I think is really cute and uh, the Snapchat family and all that type of stuff. So the card, I always have said in the past that I wish they did a real info card to tell me more about the products. That was like the one and only drawback that I know that I could think of for Ipsy, but um, I don't mind researching my own products, uh, stuff like that. So that's like the only drawback, but it is nice they do include at least something to say how much the subscribers are loved and yada yada yada. So that is that. And by the way, do you guys love my little Santa hat? I think it's cute. So trying to be festive here, even though I hate the winter. Um, and then the next thing is the bag, which is this guy right here. I typically, I mean, in the past, there have been some amazing, really cool bags that, like I said before, that I have used over and over again, um, popping my makeup into them or like all the little like toiletries and stuff like that. But um, I really am not a fan, to be quite honest with you. It really is personal preference. I'm not going to lie of the like cheapy material, the shiny material. It looks like you can buy this at the dollar store. I don't mean to be a hater, but it's just not my personal preference in the type of bag that this is, but I like the size. I do like the color. I just don't like this, the style of it, the finish of it. That's my personal preference. Don't hate me. Don't judge me, but I will reuse it, but not one of my favorite bags that they have made in the past. So the one thing that I did get, which I was, the first thing actually, this is like, I believe a bonus item, and they never do bonus items, like once in a blue moon they will, but since I have been subscribed to Ipsy um, for over three years now, I did get an amazing little card from Michelle Fan Fawn, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it right, uh, wrong, but um, she was the one who made the company and like CEO and stuff like that. So I got a little card from her and I, when I opened this, I was literally in shock that I got a full palette from her M line. Um, this is the Shade Play Art 
Artistic Eye Palette. Beautiful packaging. I love how fun but yet simple it is. I'm in shock. And I know her stuff is not the most cheapest products. Um, I love, love, love the packaging of this. Uh, this is the Shade Play Shanghai Lavenders Palette. And this is... They always drop, but... This is what it looks like. Beautiful, beautiful colors right here. You have just a nice variety of neutral and purple tones. I'll give you some swatches of the different colors. I love this pot. I'm very, very excited to try these out. I'll do, I'll do a little swatch for you guys. Yeah, these are really pretty. So... Very, very excited to try this guy out, and this is again called the Shanghai Lavenders Palette. So I don't know if every subscriber that has been with Ipsy for a couple years got the same palette. I saw someone else on YouTube get like a darker, smoky palette, so very excited for this, and I am very excited to try it out. So now on to the products that I actually did get in the bag, and these First product is by Julie G Nail Color, which is this little guy right here. And I actually do have it on my uh, nails tonight. I, do, do, bleh, I did do my nails last night, and I cannot get over how beautiful this color is. Again, that is what they look like. The little glitter that I have is um, a color by Julep. And the only thing that I'm not really a fan of, that there's no real color name on the bottle but I remember looking at the box and I think this is this is the shade pinup girl but I don't think this is a size that you can get regularly um in the stores but this is a shade pinup girl it has a nice like iridescence to it it's a really nice dark fuchsia pink color so really really love that shade very happy with it this is a legit one coat I didn't even bother doing a second coat so what you're seeing right now that one coat. So really love the polish. We'll definitely get a lot of use out of this. I, I'm always in the mood for a pink um, nail polish. So love the Julie G line. Really happy that I got that. The next product that again I did actually did do last night. I did wash my hair last night and it is really really super soft. This is the Marc Anthony Hydrating Coconut Oil Shea Butter. This is sulfate free, which looks like this. Nice size a bottle, I have to say. Really love the way this has smells. Um, tropical coconut oil, shea butter, and biotin restores dry damage, adds shine, protects color. Um, it says weekly deep treatment. I did use this last night. I put it in my hair, let it sink in for maybe like 10-15 minutes before the shower. Popped into the shower, did my shampoo, conditioner, used this again as a deep conditioning treatment while like washed the rest of my body or whatever, and it smells amazing. Really, really like this stuff, and I like how it says in the back of the bottle that you can find it in Walgreens and Ulta. So, really am happy with this. I love, you guys know, if you are on, if you follow me for any length of time, you guys know that I love coconut. Anything coconut scented is just my type of scents so really did enjoy that and definitely will continue to use up that size so that is the guy that I got um the next product that I did get and I feel like it's such a tease and I'll tell you why this is the model co illusion lip liner which looks like this now I thought that this was going to be a pink I mean you kind of would too right because this is a pink cap but it's it's a nude kind of upset because I kind of was in the mood for a nice pink lip liner but uh, no this is a nude regardless though this is a nice color I do have it on underneath ColourPop's uh, ultra matte lip cream and I believe limb no tool is the color that I have on my lips right now so I do like it is a dryer of a formula I really do enjoy though Model Co. as the brand. I have gotten a lot of Model Co. Model Co products in the past in Ipsy. Really do enjoy their products, but I just really hate how it's pink, but it's a nude. I was in the mood for a pink uh, lip liner. You are such a tease, but whatever. 
The next product that I did get, but I have not had the chance to try it out yet, this is the Jersey Shore Spa Anti-Aging Lip and Hand Polish. All natural in the scent of vanilla bean, which looks like this. Really cute packaging. I love all the little stars around it. So let's try it. Um, I mean, I really like vanilla anything scented, but I hate when it's like a vanilla that like masks the actual like scent of the true product. Does that make sense? And I literally cannot get this open. So that's like what it looks like. I really don't know. It's a polish, so I'm assuming it's a scrub, but I can't get any out. This is so odd. Yeah, this is a scrub. Very strange that I can't get any of it out. Okay, it's a scrub. I don't want to get messy here, but this is a scrub, so... I really am not into hand scrubs. I like body scrubs better because I feel that this is kind of like the same thing. But um, as a lip scrub, I definitely do like it. So we will have to test this out. Kind of the packaging is not really the greatest, so we shall see. And then the last product that I got is from the brand. I believe this is Pacifica. Um, Pacifica products I know you can get in Target. Uh, this is the Natural Lipstick 100% Vegan Power of Love, and this is in the shade called Tender Heart, and specific products are really cool. They're cruelty-free, and they're vegan, and I think they're a really, really cool company, and I know a lot of their proceeds go to, like, the um, Natural Water Act to have people in impoverished countries um, get not get water, like, something along those lines but anyway this is a really really pretty color nice wet packaging love how it has the uh the hearts on it that's really cute so let's see okay it's a nice nude that actually goes well with the lip liner that i got from model co it feels like it's going to be on the um more satin side not really that creamy um so that is what I got from Pacifica. And again, that is the shade Tender Heart. Really like the packaging. It's got the hearts all around it. That's really super cute. So that is all I got in my last Ipsy subscription service box. I don't know. I really am happy with everything that I got. I know that sometimes on my channel I say that, oh, I'm only excited for like one or two things, but Really I'm happy that I am excited for everything in the box, um, well in the bag I should say. And yeah, that is all I got, so that's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys.